Like my life is not a push, stress, make things happen. No, my life is about allowing things to show up. All the things that I am attracting into my life just show up. I just allow them. I don't force them. I don't even create them. I just create the space for them to show up. You're listening to the Money and Meaning Podcast, where we chronicle the search for meaning over money. I'm your host, Kene Porter, National Certified Counselor and the world's number one financial hypnotherapist. This podcast is the mission-driven CEO's guide to wealth without burnout, guilt, or greed. So let's get into today's show. COVID has shown us that our health is so very important. And as a healthcare professional, I just know this so well. And you listening, you might be a healthcare professional, or maybe you know a healthcare professional who has taken this to heart. You know more than anyone that the way that you're going to survive, strive, and thrive is to take care of your health, physically and mentally. Have you been looking for a way to help your patients or clients heal faster with longer lasting results? Well, Tame Your Brain Therapy is a healing modality that can remove the blocks keeping your patients from healing properly. In just four weeks, you can become a Tame Your Brain Therapist and give your patients the boost in their healing that both you and them are looking for. You'll learn so much in this training and you'll be able to raise your revenue in your company. This is for you if you've been looking for a way to break through resistance. It's the most comprehensive brain-based healing modality available online. So go ahead and click the link in the show notes so you can add a healing modality to your business that can change you your patients, and the world. I'll see you. Oh, remember, early bird pricing ends October 7th and registration ends October 4th. And we get started on November 1st. So be there. If you're remotely interested, just click the link. This could be for you. Hey, my pros pros. I'm so excited to be with you. So in episode 152, we were talking about this existential midlife crisis that a man will go through. And I want to kind of say this podcast is going through a little bit of an existential midlife crisis. The podcast is changing and evolving. It always has. But I think it has come to a point where we don't know where it's going. And because of that, I feel like we're forcing. This shouldn't even be your life either. But a lot of times, especially in America, we tend to force and work hard and grind and hustle and push. And that's usually pushing against the universe. And that's what I feel like I'm doing with this podcast. Now, here's a couple of things that have happened since we've been back. So one day, as I was recording this podcast, I forgot to plug in my mic. Now, I was talking into my mic, but the mic was not plugged in. You may have heard it. And then the next time, I plugged in my mic, but I forgot to choose it in the settings. So even though I was talking into the mic, my internal mic was what was picking me up disaster. It sounds so horrible. I aired it because I wanted to keep my promise. And it's some, it's when you sound like you're in a can, it's really difficult for a producer to edit that out. There's no editing of that. So there's no way around it, but I wanted to keep my promise. I let those episodes out. Wasn't my best work. And sometimes that has to happen. I'm, I'm reminded of acting 
And maybe you listening may have, or maybe never have, but maybe you've seen a play. And you know, maybe you've seen this play more than once. And some shows, the cast is just on, just flows, all the jokes land, just feels so good, it flows. But others, it's just a little bit off. Like the jokes just don't land as nicely. Timing is a little off. Yeah, that's how this podcast was starting to feel. My timing was off. All of these obstacles kept coming up. I really just couldn't even find the time to record these episodes. And maybe some of you listening actually have podcasts yourself and you're like, oh yeah, been there, done that. Well, that is just not my life. Like my life is not a push, stress, make things happen. No, my life is about allowing things to show up. All the things that I am attracting into my life just show up. I just allow them. I don't force them. I don't even create them. I just create the space for them to show up. And what I am creating right now is this powerful podcast that people refer to like, oh, have you listened to the this episode, whatever episode it might be? Oh, did you listen to this episode? One where they say, you know, I, I hear what you're going through and you may want to listen to the Money and Meaning podcast because it could help you with what you're dealing with. That's the kind of podcast that I am creating. I am creating one with ease that I wake up in the morning on the day of recording and I want to record. And then after recording, there's not much more for me to do. There, My team takes care of a lot. Now, we've had a podcast producer on this for over a year and we have a couple of other people on the team come in and support me and help me get this out because there's the show notes and there's so much. Anyway, I know you don't want to hear all the details, but this one last thing that I want to tell you, and then I really want to answer the question, what to do when you don't know what to do? So we've handed off these podcasts, (laughs) these podcast tasks to so many different people on the team and nobody wants them, not even me, nobody wants them. And so we have a new marketing assistant and I'm going to see how well or how she enjoys doing them. If she doesn't enjoy doing them, then we're going back on hiatus. If she does enjoy doing them, then we're going to come back different. We're going to come back more organized. We're going to come back in the flow. We're going to come back giving you exactly what you want. So there's two things I said I wanted to tell you what to do when you don't know what to do. And then the other thing is I would like you to tell me what you want from this podcast. Part of the reason why we keep getting stuck is we know who we want to talk to, but we don't always know who exactly we are talking to when it comes to a podcast. It's not like a studio audience. It's not like when you go speak, I'm speaking. I know exactly who I'm talking to. Well, I want to give you what you want. And so I know there's thousands of you listening, but if just a few reply to this question and you can send it to podcasts at presidentiallifestyle.com. When you send that message, just put, this is what I want to hear in the subject. This is what I want to hear. And we'll be sure to take a listen to, if you want to leave an audio message or if you want to type it out, that's fine too. I love audio messages. It makes it easy for me to like check the emails while I'm in the car. So don't judge me because I can't read them, right? But if they're audio, then I can do it. So if you want to leave an audio message, that would be awesome. If you want to type it out, that's cool too. Just send that email to podcast at presidentiallifestyle.com and let us know what it is you're looking for. What do you want to hear? What do you want to learn? Given knowing what we do, right? We are a business and self-development company. I am a hypnotherapist, most specifically a financial hypnotherapist and a therapist as well. You know all the subjects that we talk about. We talk about manifestation and, and getting to your you know, your highest self, getting the most out of yourself. We talk about 
we talk about your change, changing your behavior, your patterns, and being ready for change, accepting change. And we talk about controlling the controllable, how to break through your resistance you have to getting to your next level, how to focus on internal rather than external. These are the things we talk about. Now, of those things I just named, you may say, oh yeah, that's the one I want to know more about. And you can email me. Or maybe I didn't name something that you do want to know about. Tell me that too. What kind of guests do you want to hear? I want to have more guests. We haven't been able to find the right guests. Yeah, plenty of people reach out to us and you know, tell us that they're a great guest, but I don't know if they even listen to our podcast. So like, it's, this is not what we talk about. So, I mean, money is in the title, but... We're not talking about the fundamentals step by step. They can get that anywhere, everywhere, so many different places. But we're not telling people exactly how to invest. We really are not about finances and budgets and and stock picks. That was the world before I became a financial therapist, financial hypnotherapist. Now we're talking about reconciling your emotions around money. We're talking about navigating through an existential midlife crisis where money would just not be enough. We're talking about how millennials and Gen Xers are programmed differently. And Gen Xers are looking at millennials with sort of like a disdain and mm, what's the word? Disappointment that millennials don't want to do the hard work. And I don't blame them. Because what they want to do is the heart work. And you know that you wish you would have done more of that, especially my baby boomers, if you're listening. You wish you would have done more heart work where you did what was in your heart, not was what was in your head. You were doing what was in your head. You thought that's what needed to be done because that's what society told you. Programming, that's the other thing we're going to work on. But all of this, I need to know from you. What is it that you want? Now, I told you, I don't know where we're going. I have some idea, but I'm looking for direction from you. Now, that's not typical. Usually, I am chapter and verse. I know my life. I'm on purpose. I'm moving it. I know it all. And uh, did I just say I know it all? (laughs) I don't think that's not true. That is not true. Though Sometimes people think that I believe that. And that explains a lot. This is straight up therapy session right now. So that explains a lot. Because I don't really truly believe that I know it all. I just know that in this moment, what I know is enough for me to move forward and I'm going to move forward. Like it's the only information that I need to know. Then somebody might come and give me more information. I go, oh, great. Thanks for that information. Or I resist it and I'm like, eh, that does not pertain to where I'm going and what I'm doing. Well, right now, there's so much that I don't know. And because of that, I don't want to do anything. When I don't know what to do, I try not to do anything, but just wait if that's a thing. Now, a lot of us don't believe that wait is a thing. Like, oh, I'm not getting anything done. I'm waiting. Waiting can be a beautiful thing. And what happens in the moments of waiting can be gorgeous. And that's where I am with this podcast and this waiting and this holding pattern. Have you ever been on on an airplane and you're in a holding pattern? You kind of keep moving. You you don't just stop in the air, right? You keep flying, kind of going in a circle. So you're not making any new ground. You're not covering any new ground. You're just circling the ground that you already circled and you're staying where you need to stay in order for air traffic control to call you in and say, okay. It's, it's okay for you to land now. And then you make your final circle and begin your descent. Yeah. And so we just haven't landed yet. We're still very up in the air with this podcast. And mainly, I know this because of things like me not plugging in my mic. It's been a long, I've been doing this podcast for a long time. Plugging in the mic, that's not even podcasting 101. That's like everybody knows to plug in the mic, right? My five-year-old would know that the mic needed to be plugged in. Well, maybe he wouldn't, but I feel like my grandson would know something like that. But I that's a, a silly mistake, but I'm making these silly mistakes. And I want to share this point with you too. Notice when you're making silly mistakes. Notice when your team is making silly mistakes. Don't get angry with them. Because that is the universe 
telling you you're going in the wrong direction. Now, it could be some therapeutic Freudian slip kind of thing going on. However, let's just go with the universe is getting your attention. Now, if you've been listening to me for a while, you know the little pebble brick rock wall story, right? The boulder comes rolling down at you because you're not listening. And then if you don't listen to the boulder, then the brick wall, whole brick wall falls on you. You know, at some point you got to listen to the universe. I typically, like you know about me, I like to listen at the pebble. And so this is me listening at the pebble. I am still doing these small mistakes. I am still not all the way tuned in to what's needed for this podcast. And I can't keep going that way. I cannot. So what do you do when you don't know what to do? (laughs) You might not have thought about that. You're like, hmm. That's true. What do I do? You probably just make a decision and do it anyway, right? You're like, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go this way. I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go that way. I don't know what to do. So I'm going to do this. He's like, no, if you don't know what to do, don't do anything until you know what to do. So how do you know what to do? Right? How do you know this is a thing? So here's the other part of this clarity that I want to give you. So you don't know what to do, right? And you sit with it. And I just want you to check in. Is this where I'm going? And just wait for that inner guidance. And I like to say, lead me. When I'm in meditation, I just ask the universe, lead me, lead me, lead me. Now, some people have different mantras. I do Vedic meditation. So I I do have another mantra that I use. And as that mantra brings me down and I get lost in thought, then the next place that I go is to lead me, lead me, lead me. And when I go into lead me, I a lot of times get out of my head. I even get out of my heart and then go down to my gut. And I'm waiting for that gut feeling. And I just tap into my gut and ask my gut for some direction, even if it's just direction for the next hour, where to go next. It may tell you, don't even focus on the podcast, right? It may tell you, don't even focus on that thing right now. Focus on this. And so that brings me to this thing that I want to tell you. I am so excited to let you know that We are doing a training class for hypnotherapists. That's where my attention has gone. Designing, we a lot of the training we already had designed because we normally train people to come into the company, but we don't train outside. If you want to just learn it and take it and create your own practice. I was resistant to doing that for a while because I wasn't really sure how I could ensure the integrity stay in the program. But then I was like, I don't know, something just clicked. And I was like, you know what? You got to do this. You cannot reach all these people by yourself. Even if you hire them to work with you, then it's still not enough. We got to get this out to the world. We have to let people know that hypnotherapy can change your life. Now, we call it tame your brain therapy because it's just easier than marketing sometimes. Tame your brain therapy is what we are going to be teaching. And we started October 1st marketing it. The early bird special ends October 7th and registration closes October 14th. Now, When you're listening to this podcast, you may be thinking, you might be getting this podcast later after it already started. I want to assure you that we will do it again. This is level one training that we're doing right now. We will do it again. I just know what I know right now. I know that we are starting the class November 1st and it'll go on for 30 days. So for to the end of November By the end of November, all the people who got in will be level one, tame your brain, trained. Yeah. And they'll be able to add this to their practice immediately the day they graduate. I feel so good about it. How do you feel about it? 
Are you a healthcare professional? Are you a CEO who would like to just learn this maybe for yourself and your practice and whatever company you're running? And maybe you don't want to learn it. Maybe you just want to hire us to do it for you. That's also possible, of course. But if you know somebody, or maybe you want a team member. So one of the things we are also doing, not immediately, but one of the things we're doing right after this training class is that we are also offering CEOs to bring someone on their team to train in the Tame Your Brain technique. And that person could work in their office training their team on how to move through change management, how to optimize their performance, how to create more meaning and prosperity in their lives so that they can have a prosperous team, a prosperous company and become first in their industry. Be the leaders because the culture in the company is so pure. Now, maybe they don't want to send anybody in their office to be trained. Maybe they just want us to come in. You could get a dedicated Tame Your Brain therapist in your office. So that's what we are creating. Those programs already exist. We're just building the workforce to support it. And mainly who we're looking at is a CEO that has 25 to 100 employees, somewhere between 10 and probably 50 million, who really, it's really important to them to be first in their industry. It's really important. Sales drives their company and it's really important for their their team to be at the top of their game. And not just professionally, but also personally, because you can say there's work-life balance, but most people are bringing their crap to work. And how awesome would it be if you could just clear that for them so they could be open and receptive to what you need from them in the moment that they are, the moments that they are at work and they spend a lot of their time at work. So this is a lot. I didn't know I was going to share all of this with you, but I feel like we're so close and you need to know, you need to know. So what am I going to do in order to stay connected with you? I am going to release about five or six episodes that I know can make a difference in your life while we wait. Now, some of them you may have already heard, but that doesn't mean you can't listen to them again. There's an episode on meditation that I want you to listen to again, especially if you haven't started a meditation practice. And there is an episode on this episode on my movies, it's sort of like a vision board, but a video vision board. And so Natalie, a friend of mine, she comes on the podcast and tells you all about how my movies work. So I want you to listen to that episode. There were a couple other interviews, the Search for Meaning Over Money Project. There were a couple interviews there that were meaningful for me. One of them was around a woman who started a company. Actually, she started two companies at the same time. One was an event company. One was a cheerleading company. I know, go figure. And she teaches cheerleading. And these kids go to, you know, competition and stuff like that. Well, she started both of those companies at the same time. And even though her heart was in the event planning, the one that took off was the cheerleading. So now she creates events through inside of her cheerleading company. And I just thought that was such a great way to pull in what was in your heart, but what was really working, you know, instead of going again against the universe, go with what's working. You can fight towards the event planning company if you want to, but if if the other one, if the cheerleading is working, why not just go that way? Why do you want life to be so hard all the time? It doesn't have to be. Who told you that? What makes you believe that it's worth more worth having if it was hard. That is so off. As if something easy is not worth having. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense. It means it's for you if it's easy. It means it's for you. It was made for you. Receive it. It doesn't have to be hard. And stop ignoring all the things that are easy to you. And I know you can think of what many and plenty of times in your life from women you dated, to jobs, to your children, even so many different reasons and ways where you made things harder than they had to be just because you like the story. 
have a friend who decided to be homeless, decided to be homeless because he likes a, t- a hard, tough story. It's just his thing. Makes no sense. But that's what he likes. And his life is easy. It gets easier every year, but he likes to put an obstacle in front of it to make it a little harder so he can keep his story. Let go of the story. What would it feel like if life was easier? I really want you to tap into that feeling. Just think about that while I wrap this up. So I talked about Kimberly and having to choose between the two companies. And then there was Brian Scudamore. I want to have his episode on And he's going to, he talked about how he had to let go of his whole entire team and really start his company over. And now he's probably over five, that last year was 500,000. And I see 1-800 got junk trucks out here in Nevada all the time. He has a franchise that you'll hear him tell the story. So be listening, look for that one. And I think those are the ones that I'm going to air. I may air one or two more, but I think you need to hear them. Because it's a journey. It's a it's a it's a path. But there's no wrong in this path. Even if the path for you is easy, if it gets hard, if you can't even see that far in front of you, just stay on the path. And that's what I'm doing. I've asked the universe to lead me. And the leadership that I received was to pause. Stop. Stop. You're making these mistakes because you're going the wrong way. So just hold on. I'm going to tell you where to go next. So I am here in my holding pattern, waiting for direction, asking you if we have a tight connection, if we have a bond, if this podcast has been meaningful for you to hang in there with me. I have ways to keep you occupied and learning, growing while I learn and grow. This is not all about me. It's it's about us. So if you want to learn and grow together, because it doesn't have to be lonely at the top, you can take people with you. And I'm taking you with me. So I I encourage you to invite some friends too. So you can tell other people about this podcast. Don't tell them now. (laughs) Tell them it's coming. It's coming. No, I'm kidding. You can tell them now because I think it's important that people see that life isn't this like smooth. I really want people to see the the ups and downs and the twists and turns that life goes through and you don't have to take it that seriously. Like I don't feel defeated right now. To Right now, how I feel is like something as big is coming. So that's why I'm okay with waiting because something big is coming. And I'm so freaking glad that you're going to be with me as it comes. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening today. Thank you so much for listening for as long as you have, even if this is your first episode. Thank you. Keep listening. We're doing this. It's coming. It's going in the direction that it's supposed to go in because I am obedient. So thank you for go rolling with me. You're my ride or die. Oh, I know my friend Amy, she doesn't like that statement. She says, ride or live, which doesn't come off as nicely, but you get what I'm saying. We're doing both. We're, we were surviving, we were striving, and now we're thriving. That's where we're going. We're going into thrive mode. You with me? Good. Well, then I'll see you next week. Well, not really, kind of, sort of. It'll be a replay, but it'll be me. It's just going to be the new me. It'll be the old me? Not really. It'll be the other me, the me before this me, which was a really cool me, but this me today, I know you're saying, can I let it go? I know sometimes I just can't take it too far and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually end it right here. Okay. All right. Say goodbye. I know. It's like, no, you ain't go first. No, you ain't go first. (laughs) That's okay. Laugh with me. Laugh with me, not at me. I appreciate you. That's why we're friends. I'll see you next week. Kind of, sort of. Okay? Bye. Thanks for listening all the way to the end, my Prosperity Pro. I want to stay connected with you. Here are four ways. Pick the one that works best for you if you want to stay connected with me. One, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. Send them to podcast at 
presidentiallifestyle.com. I'd love it if you would make a one or two minute audio message and attach it to an email. That'd be the easiest way for me to get it. Ask me anything about creating a life of meaning over money and I'll get you an answer. Remember the email address is podcast at presidentiallifestyle.com. Two, subscribe to this podcast and share it with your friends because you guys might want to have a discussion about it, especially if they're a CEO who wants to shift from the old American dream to a life of meaning. Three, we try not to have any sponsors on this show unless they are truly in line with our values. I mean, really a good fit. So that means we fund this podcast ourselves. I'd like you to take a look at our resource page to see if there's any products or services that we recommend that are right for you. If not, no worries, maybe later. If so, please use our affiliate link to purchase. Thank you in advance for doing that. You are such an amazing person. Okay, four and last. If you want to know what's happening over here at Presidential Lifestyle, and you want us to email you the update, then go to presidentiallifestyle.com slash blog slash now. And you'll see the current updated blog for the week, but you'll also see a link to subscribe to that blog. We can email it to you if you like. That's presidentiallifestyle.com slash blog slash now. Don't worry, you don't have to remember that link or any links. They're all in the show notes. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you're enjoying this podcast, go ahead and leave us a review and tell us how much you're enjoying it. And now for the legalese. This podcast is not to replace professional counsel. The best advice is from a professional who knows you and your specific situation. The topics discussed in this podcast are general in nature and for informational or entertainment purposes only. We encourage you to meet with a professional that you can discuss your specific situation with. Whether you choose us or someone else, one-on-one counsel is important, whether it's a financial, therapeutic, legal, or other decision. So that's all for now. I'll see you next episode. And remember, you can have wealth in all of its forms. Believe it, and you'll soon see it.